Yes, you heard it right. ChatGPT is coming after Google. For multiple years, many, many, many years, we've had the verb Googling. Why don't you Google that? Have you Googled this? I've been Googling that. I've Googled that. Many ways we've used the verb Google, which wasn't a verb, it's a brand, but it became search. Google search became search for anything in your life. But those days are almost over. Why? Because ChatGPT has now ChatGPT search. But funny enough, even before this new feature of ChatGPT search, we have been asking ChatGPT questions that we would typically ask Google. And we didn't have this ChatGPT search feature, but it did some type of search. It wasn't as good as what we have now. So this means that really ChatGPT is becoming also our search engine. But let's look at some of the amazing features because younger generations are already saying, have you asked chat about that? Not even chat GPT. And this is one of the reasons why OpenAI also bought the chat.com domain, but that's another topic. But today we're going to look at the amazing features of chat GPT search and how it can be a replacement to your Google search. So no more ads, no more blue links, no more noise, no more looking at multiple sources to get the answer, right? Or to compare them. Because today we have ChatGPT search. ChatGPT search is still in the early days, but it's the beginning of an incredible, incredible future in search for ChatGPT. So let's dive deep into how can we use ChatGPT search for our day to day and make it our default search engine. Are you ready? ChatGPT search is available for plus enterprise and teams users, and they're expecting a rollout for free users soon. But anyways, if you're watching my channel, you know, please subscribe and don't forget, pay for ChatGPT. The amount that you pay for is incredibly cheap. If you think about the return on investment, any AI expert out there giving you free AI tools that is better, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry. It's absolute. ChatGPT is an incredible tool. And if you're watching my channel, that $20 a month in an individual plan, $30 a month in a team's plan is going to feel like peanuts due to the return on investment. So now let's look at these features. And here we are. We've got our ChatGPT open. As you can see, next to the little button for attaching a file, next to the paperclip, we now have this globe icon. And this globe icon, as it says, when you hover on it is search the web. So if I click on it, it enables it by having this blue search. As you can see right away, we've got some topics for search. These usually are trending search topics like Wordle hints today, Melania Trump, Pete, how selection results 2024. And as I type a search query that should disappear. As you can see that disappears. So this is how to enable, and you can just select one of these and it will do the trending search. I've just done a trending search for now. As you can see right away, we're getting images into our chat GPT, and then we're getting text-based answers with the sources, the citations, where this is coming from. This is coming from the Encyclopedia Britannica. This is coming from Newsweek. This is coming from CNN. This is coming from HuffPost España. This is coming from New York Post and so on. And then you can see that we're getting also links like recent news on Melania Trump, the Times, New York Post, the Times and so on. And you can also see again, all the sources and the citations on the right side. When you open this, it tells you everything that is searched and all the sources that is available according to your topic. Not all the sources, but the ones that ChatGPT search has decided to go over and give you those results. So this is really cool, but let's do a couple more searches. Well, I prefer to do a search about a musician. So what we're going to do is we're going to enable search the web. We've clicked that and I'll show you. There are a few more ways to do that. Actually, let me show you that you can do forward slash and you can select as well search. And as you can see, it enables the same feature. 
And you can do that while you're chatting the chat GPT in a chat that you already have. You could go forward slash and then select search and then you'll get into search mode. Let's search for Fred again, which I love, by the way. If you don't know it, one of the best electronic music right now is Fred. Fred is an incredible guy. So as you can see, boom, it's gone to its official website, which is fredagain.com, right? And right away, it's pulled some of his images, right? He's born as Frederick John Philip Gibson in 1993, and so on. That's from Wikipedia. This is from People. Uh, and then we get a bunch of stuff. But what I love, it goes and brings an embedded YouTube video. Oh, my God. For a glimpse into his live performance style, you might enjoy his boiler room set from London. By the way, this is not his boiler room set from London. So doo -doo -doo. this is one of his songs, which is Friday again and Josie 10. I don't know if it meant here that it's going to show me the boiler room set because that's what it said, uh, but it's fine. It's still a Friday again video, but it's one of his new songs called 10. But please do watch the boiler room set from London. If you love electronic music, it's an amazing set. It really kind of blew my mind. Anyways, let's get back. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of sources again here, the YouTube sources, right? That you can go and you can select these things. Right? Oh, here's the boiler room one. If I click on it, it will open it right away on YouTube. There we go. So we've opened that on YouTube. By the way, this is incredible set. So let's just get back. As you've seen, it is incredible because you're getting a summary from very different sources and you're getting images, but you're also getting embedded videos, YouTube videos. You can also get embedded music from Apple Music or I bet Spotify potentially as well. I haven't tried the Spotify one yet, but I've seen some Apple Music playlist that you could click and it'll open your Apple Music uh, and so on. It's just incredible. I mean, I love it. You can also, of course, click on read aloud uh, and let it uh, read it to you. And of course, if you want to see the sources, you just click on here. You're going to get the right side with all the citations and the search results, which is mind blowing. All right. Awesome. So let's do a couple other things. I've been wanting to bring my family for a skiing holiday. Let's see if we can get some help from ChatGPT Search. We would like to go to Kitzbühel for skiing. Can you help in deciding hotels according to their distances to the ski pistes? Let's see what happens. As you can see, we've gone on to Trimp Advisor. We've gone to Booking.com. We're getting ski in, ski out hotels. We're getting the requirements. We're getting all these sources for us right away. And now I'm going to ask, can you map them out? Oh, here we go. We've gone to TripAdvisor. We've got some pictures and here we are. We're getting a map highlighting the locations of the mentioned hotels in Kitzbühel relative to ski lifts and slopes. This is awesome. Look at that. This is an interactive map inside my chat GPT search. And again, we do have the sources. So we've gone Telegraph, TripAdvisor, Ski Hotels Guide, J2 Ski, a Ski Austria, Ski Resort, blah, blah, blah. Uh, TripAdvisor, a lot of TripAdvisor. Well done, TripAdvisor. But what's incredible, we've literally gotten a map that is fully interactive with the hotels mapped out for me. This is the map, or you can click back on a link and have them inside this link. Wow, wow, wow. And here I could actually just go on directions and it will open up Google Maps. Interesting. Obviously, ChatGPT doesn't have a Maps feature yet itself. Is that the next thing coming? ChatGPT, OpenAI, tell us the truth. But as you can see, this is incredible. You can see the reviews, you can see their opening hours, you can see a little bit of a description. You can click on their website. You can call them right away. As you can see on the bottom left, we're seeing the numbers. We're seeing the direction, the link that is going to open on Google. This is just mind blowing. So interactive elements inside ChatGPT with the ChatGPT search is just wow. So now that you have seen the power of ChatGPT search, you're going to ask me, great, Tim, but my browser and everything goes to Google search automatically. Well, it doesn't have to. If you do want to override that, you can go on. ChatGPT search Chrome extension 
And by clicking on Add to Chrome, you can accept the Add extension. As you can see, ChatGPT Search has been added to Chrome. And now, if we search on the top here, and I'm writing top ski destinations since 2025, and then as you can see, uh, Google Search is not very happy because it's asking me the ChatGPT Search extension changed Search to use ChatGPT.com. Would you like to change it back? or keep it. If I select keep it now, as you can see, we've done the search in the next one, what you'll see top music festivals for 2025. And now we're not getting that warning. We're getting into chat GPT automatically. We're getting the search enabled and we're getting pictures. We're getting dates. We're getting the festival that I searched for. We're getting all the sources on the side. And we've gotten an amazing ChatGPT search experience in a default way on our browser. Enjoy. Oh, it got it hot in here because ChatGPT search is very, very hot. ChatGPT search is definitely coming for Google search, as you've seen. But let's summarize very quickly. ChatGPT search is available for Plus Enterprise Teams users, and they're going to roll out for free users if they haven't yet. I am not a free user, and I don't recommend to be a free user go and pay. The return on investment is huge. The key features, as you've seen, is that it can search, have interactive elements and bring you a summary from different sources. You can see the citations, the sources on the right side. And when you click on it and while you're doing any kind of job, any kind of conversation with ChatGPT, you can do forward slash, you can click on search or you have the little globe icon on the bottom to start the search feature. The interactive elements were incredible. We saw a map. We saw a YouTube video already in there, which is wow, incredible. So check it out, test it out. But why would you use ChatGPT Search? ChatGPT Search is great. It's not the best yet. Why? Because it's very, very new, but it's improving very, very quickly. And I believe that it is going to change our mindset of Googling because it's already started for younger generations. And for me as well, but I don't use ChatGPT search. I mainly use perplexity. Perplexity is incredible at search. That's what they focus on. ChatGPT is more of a Swiss army knife of an AI, but perplexity is just for search. So check out perplexity. If you really have deep search needs, because you can do a lot of crazy things with perplexity, which I will do a video on it very soon. So make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more about ChatGPT, to see more about AI tools, to adopt an AI first mindset. Follow me, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next video.